Which monument in Guyana is dedicated to children's rights? Did you guess the Children's Millennium Monument? Located in the National Park, Georgetown, the monument reminds us that children are also humans with rights and that they have special rights. International children's rights didn't always exist. In the 19th and 20th century, it was commonly accepted for children to work along with adults in horrible conditions. Imagine, instead of waking up and going to school or playing with your friends, having to do hard labor and work long hours. And I quote, mankind owes to the child the best it has to give, unquote. In 1989, world leaders came together and made a promise to every child to protect their rights. This promise was a legal agreement or treaty called the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. The Convention on the Rights of the Child explains who children are, all their rights, and the responsibilities of governments. The rights are connected, equally important, and cannot be taken away from children. Guyana signed and ratified the Convention on the Rights of the Child in 1991. In keeping with the Convention, the Rights of the Child Commission RCC was created in Guyana. The Rights of a Child Commission is an independent body with constitutional powers to investigate and resolve complaints that go against the rights and interests of the child. The world that we live in isn't perfect, and many children, especially since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, have fallen behind. What the Convention on the Rights of the Child does is ensure that children are always remembered when governments make plans at a global and national level. The Convention on the Rights of the Child has 54 articles, and as we said before, it explains who children are, all their rights, and the responsibilities of governments. What do you think are some of the things in the Convention? Let's list the articles and see if you guessed any. 1. Definition of a child. Everyone under 18 years of age has all the rights in this convention. 2. No discrimination. All children have all these rights. No matter who they are, no child should ever be treated unfairly. 3. Best interests of the child. When adults make decisions, they should think about how their decisions will affect children. 4. Making rights real. Governments must do all they can to make sure every child in their country can enjoy all the rights. Five, family guidance as children develop. Six, every child has the right to life survival and development. Seven, name and nationality. Children must be registered when they are born and given a name which is officially recognized by the government. Eight, children have the right to an identity, an official record of who they are. No one should take this away from them. 9. Keeping families together. Children should not be separated from their parents unless they are not being properly looked after. 10. Contact with parents across countries. If a child lives in a different country than their parents do, the child has a right to be together with them in the same place. 11. Protection from kidnapping. 12. Respect for children's views. 13. Sharing thoughts freely. 14. Freedom of thought and religion. 15. Setting up or joining groups. 16. Protection of privacy. 17. Access to information. 18. Responsibility of parents. Parents and guardians should always consider what is best for that child. 19. Protection from violence. In Guyana, the Child Care and Protection Agency, CPA, is responsible for ensuring the safety and protection of children. 20. Children without families. Children have the right to special care and help if they cannot live with their parents. 21. Children who are adopted. When children are adopted, the most important thing is to do what is best for them. 22. Refugee children. Refugee children should get help and protection and have the same rights as children born in that country. 23. Children with disabilities. Every child with a disability should enjoy the best possible life in society. 24. Health, water, food, environment. 25. Review of child's placement. Every child who has been placed somewhere away from home 
should have their situation checked regularly. 26. Social and economic health. Government should provide money or other support to help children from poor families. 27. Food, clothing, a safe home. 28. Access to education. 29. Aims of education. Children's education should help them use and develop their talents and abilities. It should help them learn to respect other people's rights, live peacefully, and protect the environment. 30. Minority culture, language, and religion. Children have the right to use their own language, culture, and religion. 31. Rest, play, culture, and arts. 32. Protection from harmful work. 33. Protection from harmful drugs. 34. Protection from sexual abuse. 35. Prevention of sale and trafficking. 36. Protection from exploitation. 37. Children in detention. Children who are accused of breaking the law should not be killed, tortured, treated cruelly, put in prison forever, or put in prison with adults. 38. Protection in war. 39. Recovery and reintegration. Children have the right to get help if they have been hurt. 40. Children who break the law. Children accused of breaking the law have the right to legal help and fair treatment. 41. Best law for children applies. If the laws of a country provide better protection of children's rights than this convention, those laws should apply. 42. Everyone must know children's rights. Children have the right to get help if they have been hurt, neglected, treated badly, or affected by war, so they can get back their health and dignity. 43 to 54. How the convention works. These articles explain how governments and international organizations like UNICEF will work to make sure all children get all their rights. The Children's Millennium Monument, unveiled in the year 2000, is a reminder of all the rights covered under the convention. It highlights that children are human beings with social and legal rights. Do you know who designed the Children's Millennium Monument? If you guessed Guyanese Michael Kahn, you were right. The top of the monument shows a childlike illustration of a rising sun with eight rays, representing the development of children. The sun peeks out from behind an upside down L. The vertical part of the upside down L signifies the strength and growth of children, while the other arm shows that children should reach for the stars. The base of the monument represents the world and is encircled by the words, every child has the right to a life, name, and nationality. Packed with symbolism, the six benches around the monument represent Guyana's six ethnic groups. Next time you visit the national park, stop by the monument and remember your rights as a child, but also think of the children in Guyana and the rest of the world who may not have access to these rights and think of ways you can help them.